Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are ready for part two of the robot invasion. So I was going off a lot of feedback from the last episode and you guys had some really good ideas as to what can hold back the robot army. So we've talked about the grandmas and the whole fact that they don't have a big presence here in the city yet, but today that all changes. The grannies are going to strike back and we're going to have a huge war uh, here, probably right in this area is where I'm picturing we're going to do this. So we do have a couple more custom parts. I want to thank Flawless Doggo for these. Uh, we do have a castle. Now this is morely, I don't even know if you want to call it a castle. I mean, it looks like a castle, but it's supposed to be an HQ uh, for Megacorp, which that is the robot army that has showed up out of the portals here in Tiny Town. So I have a feeling we're going to make this thing emerge up through the ground so it's gonna come busting through that thing's actually really huge was that the default size oh it was holy man that is a huge castle or HQ whatever you want to call it so I think it's gonna be coming up from the ground uh, causing a huge sinkhole we'll have some robots fighting I got another uh, robot type here uh, we have the robot spider which is right here uh, this thing actually looks really, really awesome. So that's going to be here today. And then we do have uh, the drop ships, which you guys, this was one of the top comments from the last episode, was to use these, or the grandmas are actually using these, uh, to deploy troops. So this won't be a part of the uh, robot force. So if you guys have any suggestions for Tiny Town, for the new city here, whether it be disasters, names, anything you want to see, let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe hit that thumbs up button while you're down there and let's jump into this. All right, so we're going to have the HQ now. Everything's kind of come out of portals from the sky, but say they open one up underground. That way their HQ could rise up from the ground. So it's going to be like mid rise. So I'm picturing it being somewhere right around here. Or should we do this on the other side? Oh, maybe we should stick it on this side. I think it'll look better over here because of the uh, the way the sun is. I really wish we could change the sun position in Tiny Town. Oh, my hand freaked out there for a second. So what if we were to stick it on this side? This looks a little more epic uh, because it's got some sun rays over there. So maybe we'll deal with this side a little bit. And this will also uh, be where we could stick some skyscrapers getting knocked over by this, which I think would look cool. Oh, let's move some of these fighters real quick. Oh boy, this is going to be a big battle, so I'm thinking about right here, and then we'll run the road into it, and then we'll have to destroy the ground uh, around this area. Alright, so you can see I'm starting to lay out some debris, some dust clouds. I'm starting to debate, did this thing come up from the ground, or did the HQ come from the sky? You know, it might make more sense that it came from the sky, uh, just with the way the area looks. It looks like it landed down, it hasn't quite corrected itself yet. Uh, it's still a little crooked, but yeah, you can see the path of the destruction. That actually looks really cool because that's blending really well in this area. So say if you were uh, running down the street away from the robot army. Yeah, if you saw that, you'd probably poo yourself. That and the whole fact, you imagine the shock wave that would have sent out uh, when it landed. Man, I really wish there was like a, a broken glass uh, like object. I'd break all the glass and all that on this uh, area here. Probably flip some more cars over. This is looking cool though. Really cool. So we got to figure out where the grandmas are coming from. I'm sure they have a lot of the same technology and maybe they're using portals too. So I could have a opposing portal maybe about right here aimed down and they'll be spilling through uh, in the drop ships there and trying to get some uh, boots on the ground uh, and try to oh, wait the grandmas wear boots uh, slippers on the ground and they uh, try to fight back the uh, the robot army all right so check this out we have the grandmas are starting to come out the portal they're gonna start spilling through let's go ahead and get some drop ships uh, in the air probably have like some grandmas uh, shooting out of their drop ships maybe they're gonna drop onto the HQ here uh, we'll have some actually landing here on the ground so it'll be probably right in this area this one's coming down let's add one more here we'll have another one that just landed here so I have grandmas coming out of that. I need to add something to this little area here. It looks a little blank. Uh, we need to add some robot troops here to the front of the castle. Or I keep saying castle. I mean, it looks like a castle, but it's supposedly HQ. Which also, this thing has a plate. 
Hold on, look at this. Kind of like the Granny Factory, which we need to actually establish another one of those. You got Mega Corporation making robots since 1987. Hold on, let's go ahead and stick this on the building somewhere. There we go. There's a nice little sign. Too bad the grandmas are going to have to destroy it. <laughs> oh, man. This is cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's go and grab this uh, robot spider out real quick. So check this thing out. Man, that's pretty cool. I almost think the grandmas need a new brand of tank to face all these new things. Uh, the tanks I was using are the normal military tanks, and we use the gray tanks uh, for the grandma faction. So check this out, huh? Let's stick this over here. This will be charging at the drop ships. That looks cool. Uh, we'll probably add a couple more of these in the area. Maybe there's one going to be over on this side. Uh, you can see that I've added, uh, hold on, let's get rid of that one. I added some troops here. Uh, a lot of, uh, little of the, uh, I guess you call them the little robots. Uh, kind of how you had this little charge over here. You got some protecting the front of the, the, uh, HQ here. All right, so I need to stick some more stuff in this area. Uh, what would this have been? Probably maybe something like a hotel or something. Uh, halfway destroyed over here. And the grandmas will be kind of coming from the back side of it. All right, so we're going to zoom down on this area here. The cavalry has arrived. The grandmas are here, and they are charging in. Uh, you can see them. They're coming from the drop ships here. So they're just jumping off. They're uh, running up. But yeah, we got a ton of grandmas in here. Uh, you can see uh, still quite a few of them in the, the ship over there. Uh, so the doors open, they jump out, and they run straight into combat. Now, the one that's up here, they're actually uh, providing some air support. You got a grandma that's hanging out of the uh, the doorway with the minigun because grandmas are absolutely crazy. And you got a couple more uh, giving some support here, and they're attacking the top. I should probably stick some robots on the top of this uh, HQ here. But look at this area. This is busy. This looks cool, too. Uh, you got the portal up there, the grandma's coming through. Now, I put a fighter really low on this side. I think we're going to make this one burst into flames. So maybe uh, the grandma's uh, got a hit there. So it'll be flying over this uh, main street here uh, with all the other chaos that's happening. We need to get some grandmas on this street here. Uh, maybe we'll uh, have a drop ship about to land in this area or something. Uh, that'll look pretty cool. All right, so I've added some uh, robots to the top of this thing like I said I was going to we did go ahead and Set this one ablaze here. So this one's gonna crash down into something this fighter uh, Let's see does the grandma do we have an opposing I'm trying to think, do we have a fighter for them? I was gonna say opposing fighter, but uh, technically the opposition is the robots uh, you know, I have a couple custom things. I'm not really sure if I want to use these for the grandma fighters. We got some pretty neat looking ones. They actually look more like wipeout racers. I think we're going to hold off. Maybe they're using more traditional uh, military fighters here. So let's go to airport and let's go ahead and get a couple of those. Now, I'm going to go ahead and have some more grandmas on the ground. That way we could say the battles uh, still or has been going on for a little bit. That way it's not all just kind of fresh. I got an idea for one of the tops of the buildings over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got some of the grandma fighters here. So we can add a couple of these. Maybe a, a formation coming in. Probably going to have to try to take out Megabot there because that thing is absolutely huge. So let's go ahead. Put these like this. So they're flying over. Man, I tell you what. We've packed more. Actually, they look like they're about to crash into that poor helicopter. <laughs> let's move this one back a little bit. There we go. So, I think we've packed more in these areas than we were doing in the other town because there's just a ton more going on. Now, another thing, and I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys probably don't recall this, uh, we had a, uh, I think it was an aircraft carrier or a battleship episode where we kind of revealed uh, the grandmas kind of have like a, another leader here. And yeah, it's a cat. And the cat's up here. I want to go ahead and put some grandmas up on the roof here. Maybe they're providing fire support uh, from the top of this building. Unfortunately, it looks like the building's about to get clipped uh, by this uh, big skyscraper over here, but they'll be okay. They're grandmas. They can handle themselves. All right, let's go ahead and put some supplies down here for the grandmas. So some supplies have already dropped from the portal too, so the grandmas can run over here, uh, get more ammo if they need it, and pretty much take care of business here. Uh, let's see. So let's keep adding these. You know, one thing I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss that grandma factory from the, uh, the last series. Uh, that thing was actually really cool, and that really gave the grandmas, like, something to protect in the old series. But now, since we're on the new series, yeah, they have, uh, I guess, more stuff to fight for. I'm gonna have to figure out what they're actually fighting for. Maybe they're just good. 
Oh, let's add some debris down here, make this look a little more busy. Yeah, they might just be good grandmas. I mean, most grandmas are pretty good. Uh, they're not evil. So maybe they're just here to uh, save whatever they can and they realized they needed to go over to this uh, whole world or dimension. Uh, that way they can uh, try to save the people here. Which, by the way, we still don't have a name uh, for the uh, city here, so you guys keep coming up with that. Alright, so we have Grandma. This Grandma looks awesome. She's just kind of sitting there at the end of the building. She's got the cat beside her. One foot's up on the uh, ledge here. And she's providing sniper support here. Now, the question is, the, you got the, uh, the big spider uh, robots here. I'm assuming the weak point on these would probably be, which I'm assuming this is their guns. Uh, maybe that'd be a weak point, too. Oh, it looks cool. That one's actually stepping into a vehicle. Holy man. Alright, so I need to add some more civilians. I've got a couple already placed. You probably saw these. Uh, kind of hiding behind cars and running away. I've got a little gap here between the portal and this uh, area here. So let's add some more uh, civilians. Alright, so fill this area in here. You've got some robots starting to walk up this street. People are running from them. That kind of gets you guys really close to the battlefield here. So yeah, you can see there's a lot going on. Okay, so I'm pretty happy. I think we pretty much filled out that area. So that's a corner there. Uh, we still need to fill out this corner here, which that might be a completely separate disaster. I kind of want to keep the battle uh, between the clone grannies and the robots kind of contained to this area over to the side. But there's definitely a lot of things that we can do here. So we've got more disasters. We got to figure out some more places to stick grandmas. Maybe they're building a new HQ somewhere. Maybe they're, I don't know, building their own island. Uh, we'll have to come up with a lot of stuff there. But yeah, like I said, we need a name for the, uh, the city here. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the new Tiny Town series here. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I think that's going to wrap it up. I think we've... Uh, We've accomplished a lot here. This is a really detailed scene. So thank you guys for all the love and support. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town. Thank you.